Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone is enjoying their day. Um, I'm back again with another video. I hope y'all get a chance to check out what I just put out. Um, the name of the individual's name is Franchot Pearson. Um, check out his uh, videos, uh, Franchot Blue, if you're interested in the stuff he's saying. <clears throat> he's a, a Christian man, and he's been given a gift to decode and put out different things that are going on in our communities and for politics. And I know... Um, this uh, type of stuff may be kind of hard for you to hear, especially as the days get closer to the elections and things to come. Um, just challenge you to really think about, again, what I said in the last video, is to think about who you're voting for. Um, it really, uh, one of the things I want to say is about what he said is understanding the deception. And a lot of times we, we you know, we go off what, family tells us we go off what we think we go off what we've been taught and we're not doing the research we're not sitting back and thinking and playing the uh the, the word of maybe the devil's advocate or maybe even just sitting back and saying hey let me think about what is really being said we go off what we see on tv and we know we know the media can be deceptive right you know we know the media can deceive us it can trick us we know we hear in terms of fake news and word salad and all these different types of things and like he said, you know, the things that we really know or really don't understand or what's behind the scenes, if you kind of just pay attention to what's going on, you'll you'll able to see um, some of the things that are being said, some of the things that are being done. I'm trying not to, again, really uh, put out a, a bias to a candidate. You know, we have many different candidates, you know, the Independent Party, Republican Party. Democratic Party, right? You know what I'm saying? We want to, you know, hopefully people can see in between the lines. And one of the things I want to say um, in the inner cities, if you're watching this in, in many cities, I hope that, you know, you can take a look back at your communities and see what is happening. Um, we, we talk about the Springfield, Ohio situation where, you know, um, the migrants are, are being bust and put there news media and, and, the, and the city council and some of the uh, city and local governments are saying that it's not accurate that these things are not happening but you know you're hearing citizens speaking out you're hearing citizens in the communities that we live um in, in m multiple different cities are speaking out about what's going on whether you know it, it affects jobs it affects the economy it affects the, the well-being of those citizens in that city and the homes and the neighborhoods these are things that if you are living in these places, you're seeing it, right? You're seeing it and you got to sit back and think, okay, this is, this is what I want. This is the type of um, uh, times I want to live in in my community. Now you're looking in the schools, right? You're seeing multiple, multiple shootings, right? You're seeing threats, people calling in, people making threats to do something to the, to the, the schools, um, to the teachers, to the, to the staff. You're, you're seeing these threats all over the United States. These are these are concerns. These are things that you need to think about as a, a voter. Read between the lines. Don't just vote because of color. Um, as he, you know, if you watch this video or you continue to see, he talks about race, race wars, baiting, race baiting. Right. Um, you know, we, we want to start spark things up with the police. We want to spark things up with law enforcement officials and and with the community. Right. And what we talk about all the time when it's on the channel. What have, what have I been saying since the channel started? The community, RBC, Rebuilding Community Trust, right? That that is the whole point of this um, of the channel. So when you think about the certain tactics that are uh, employed by the media, or certain tactics that are employed by um, social media or influencers or whatnot, then you're going to is going to see a clash. One of the things he said was the George Floyd. You don't want another George Floyd. Right. You don't want another, you know, the situation with the, uh, the Miami Dolphins football player, Tyreek Hill. Right. He goes into detail and talks about between the lines. And I, I just kind of want to highlight what he said. I'm not trying to copy what he said. I'm not trying to steal any material. I just want to highlight a little bit, 11 minutes of, of just him talking about some of the things that he has been given the gift to see. And being able to read between the lines and being able to see what's really going on. Being able to see past just the, what the news is saying. Okay. Um, I, I, I put this out because I'm really concerned about our communities. I'm concerned about 
what the agenda is going to be and how it's going to affect people as a whole. But really, it's going to affect the minorities, it's going to affect the black people, it's going to affect those who are living in low income homes or living in low income neighborhoods. These things is, is important because that's where they're starting to put these people at. And again, some of these migrants, um, some of them have agendas to do destructive behavior. Some of them may have an agenda to take over in certain ways, but some of them may just want a better life. Some of them may just want to able to get out where they were at and come here and to start a better life. So, but in, in, in that process, understanding about how to do it, when to do it, going through the proper channels, um, there are laws, there are a process that you have to go through when it comes to uh, becoming a citizen and applying for the proper paperwork and documentation to be in the, in the country. But when you, when the government doesn't, whether state or federal, they don't take it seriously, as you heard, then you're going to then you're going to see all these different things in the news. And you have to be able to discern and decipher between what is real and what is fake. This is the part where it comes into deception and. You hear stuff on the on the social media platforms about relationships and couples fighting in between amongst themselves because you don't want work, you don't want to vote for one candidate or one wants to vote for the other. At the end of the day, whoever is in office and, and like he said, and this is what I stand in, in when it comes to my political views, you have both candidates, the two main candidates that we're talking about. You've seen the debates, you've seen what their policies are are starting to kind of see. But at the end of the day. Both of them have issues. Both of them have issues. If you vote for one, it's going to be an issues. It's going to be problems. If you vote for the other one, it's going to be issues. It's going to be problems. And you have the right to vote for what you believe in. If it's reproductive rights, you're going to vote for it. If you're going to vote for the economy, you're going to vote for schools, or you're going to vote for this immigration issue, violent crimes in certain cities, economic job growth. If you're going to vote for these things, what's important to you? But at the end of the day, whoever wins is going to affect all. Whoever is in office in some capacity, as far as the federal level is concerned, they're going to impact us as, as a whole. It's going to impact uh, every facet of what's going on in the nations, how our relationships are, relationships are with other na other leaders. So these things is, is, is very interesting. Um, I, I don't intend to make this video long. I don't intend to drag this out, but I just wanted to kind of capture other opinions of, of people that I, I respect and people that I think that are um, from research and just seeing what's going on my own and reading and trying to discern between what's fake and what's real and just really dig it in. And when I see others that are doing the same and I see others that has a gift to discern and see um, what's going on, then it helps me give me a better perspective of what's really going on around me. And and just hearing uh, citizens speak out, hearing uh just not just the main social media, not just stuff, but people that I that I might know, people that I that uh, I know other people that may live in these areas, and they're saying certain things. They're saying some of this stuff is, is has is not all false, right? It, it has um, some truth to it, and it, it's affecting them. It's affecting their families. So again, sit back and really think about as the days get closer to electing your vote, even in in that. <laughs> I believe there's a selection process and not everything is done the way it's supposed to be done. Right. Not, not everything is about a vote. It could just be they already been selected. There's there's things in it to that as well. But going out and doing your part and looking at the candidates, don't just go off my bias or what I feel. Right. Think about the whole picture. Think about everything. Don't just think about what you what you want or what you think it is. Think about the whole picture. If you're if you're if you're reproductive rights and that's all you care about, think about the other stuff. Economy. If you if you concerned about reproductive rights and the person doesn't do well with economy and you can't get jobs and you can't get resources, and I don't care about reproductive rights. Not saying that's not important, but I'm just giving an example. If you care about the economy and you don't care about nothing else, right? How you gotta at least ponder and think about okay, what's what's important, not just for me, but for everybody around me. If you're married or you're in relationships and you have your spouse has concerns about certain things, you got to now think of outside the box and not just think about what you want and concern of a candidate, but think about everything. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I really believe that person's already been selected. 
And it, there's a lot of things that I kind of really don't want to get into on here of what I, my thoughts are in regards to what I think is going to happen to certain candidates and certain people that's going to be involved. But just think about the little clip of what he just said. Think about, you know what I'm saying, what is really going on. And I must keep saying this until even after election. I'm going to say this because you're going to see it. You're going to see things take place, right, that you may have never even seen before, right? When it comes to um, preparing, right, for your families, for yourself, these things still apply. Many, many, many people have been saying, and I'm sure if you already heard this already, preparations, preparing as you go, food, resources, energy sources, weapon sources, stuff like that. Start thinking about these things if you have not already done it, because it's going to be a point where some of this may take effect and it may impact you in a way. So I just wanted to jump on here real quick again. His name is Franchot Pearson, a guy that I, I, I really think he's doing a really good job in, in decoding and discerning things, really challenging my perspective, really open my mind up to things that I didn't know, things that, that you know, that's historical and just experience. And some of the stuff that he's been doing over the years and, and the journalist piece, I, I really appreciate his perspective. So that's why I wanted to share with you guys. If you're interested in his channel, Franchot Blue is his, is his channel. If you if you want to look at his videos, um, he is a believer. He is a, a, a Christian man from my perspective. So he's going to come from a, a biblical perspective. He's going to come from a, a place where it's going to represent Christian values. So that's that's not an issue with you. Then you may not want to tune in. But. If you don't mind and you want to have an open mind to see what he's saying, then definitely check out his, his material. So again, 55, 54 days, I think it is, 56. I'm not too sure of the dates. Get in there and think about these things. Take time. You know, there's a lot of opinions and, and views about I'm going to vote for this candidate because of whatever. I'm going to vote for this candidate for whatever. I hate this candidate. I hate this candidate. I hate the president. I hate this person, that person. There's so many opinions, division, race, gender, all these different things. Uh, sexuality, all these different topics are floating around. But look at the bigger picture and see, okay, it's not just about me. Because whoever wins, okay, they're going to affect everyone. Apologize for the background noise if you hear extra noise. And wife and kids are moving around. But just think about that stuff, and I hope y'all... Um, are being safe. Hope you are, are at least preparing. Hope you're you're doing well. For those who are not, think about them. Okay, if you can help someone, help someone. There's a lot of homeless. It's a lot of uh, people are doing. They're not maybe not doing so well financially. May not doing so well. They may have certain life issues or life situations in their life and, and that's going on. Take time to think about them. Take time to help someone. You know, if you know someone that's in need, try to help them. You know, because it's going to be a time where. We're going to, we all going to need help. We're all going to need um, someone to pitch in and help us, not just even with money, but just maybe with food, resources. It may be advice. It may be encouragement. It may just be a, just a hello or just how are you doing, a, a, just a conversation. It may not always be tangible, material things. So if you know someone that's in need, take time to help them because we're going to need it. So be blessed. Um, if I have any other things I'm going to put out on here, I'll put it out. Check out the other channels, Freedom Fighters, Rebuilding Community, no, this is Rebuilding Community Trust, Freedom Fighters or Breaking Barriers Ministries. Okay, check out the material. If you like what you see, if you're first time on the channel, please subscribe, please like, please share. If you like the other videos and content that's been put out in the prior videos, share them. Um, there's some, hopefully some helpful information on there, the things that this, topics and things we talked about. Um, same thing for the other channels that I have. So like, share, subscribe, check out Franchot Pearson, subscribe to his channel if you, if you like what he says, support him. Um, uh, if you want to sow into his, his ministry, if you want to buy his stuff, whatever it is, if you're interested, then please support him, support, support him because he's he's doing something that a lot of people may not think is important or he he's really taking time to really show us stuff that a lot of people may not be saying and reading between the lines. So that's all I got, and I'll see you all in the next video. Trump talked about immigration. He talked about immigration. He talked about the economy. And he asked a one simple question.
Carmelo, you have had three and a half years. You've had three and a half years to fix this economy. Mm -hmm. Where have you been? Three and a half years, Nick. I want you, and I'm going to get to your question, but this is beautiful. Lord, Holy Spirit, work with me. Trump said you've had three and a half years, and now you want to promise to fix it. That made a lot of sense. That should resonate with a whole lot of people. The second thing he said was that you brought all these illegals over here and you tried to act like you weren't the border czar. That's not true. When you put it together, this is what's hurting our economy. So what, so what did Trump do? He hit a hard. And then the media went into a, a spin cycle where they're saying she won. She did not win. Whether you're independent, Democrat, or Republican, your pocketbook, your wallet, and your purse speaks to you like nothing else. And it will continue. So all we have is a female salesman. That's all we have. Who not standing on anything. When you watch my video, you'll, you'll see what I said in my live is that this was all in Trump's favor. All Trump had to do was hit the fine points. Economy, 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 economy. And he did. Trump didn't have anything to defend. Do you know why? Because his past record already spoke for him. So when you put his record up against hers, Hands down, he wins. Then I said in my video, just excuse that Trump was ever there. Imagine just the empty podium. And she's there telling you what she going to do for you. Baby, look at your wallet. Look at your purse. Look at your bills. Look at what has transpired the last three and a half years. She don't even qualify to be up there. Now here's, here's the dagger came from me. And I did say in my life, if Trump come and ask me to work for him, I will. But he probably going to send me home with my big mouth. You know why? Because this is what I would tell him. Like I said, Trump ain't got nothing to say to this. Because it's not his debate. Because his past already spoke. So let's get him out the way. Let's talk with Kamala Harris only. Biden has had 40 years in public service, Nick. I hope you're still there. Because I'm about to answer your question. He had, Biden has had 40 years in public service. She's been with him for three and a half years. She, in a unique aspect, has got the best mentor in American history. There is no other vice president in American history that could say that they had that they worked under to have the tutelage of somebody uniquely in a position like Joseph Robin and Biden. That speaks volumes. And if people start using their head and understand what I just said, they'll get it. This man knows politics. He's seen, what, five, six presidents in his lifetime? He was a senator for 36 years? A VP for eight years? Now three and a half years as president? Come on, man. She's had, she's had the opportunity to be his understudy. And she's trying to separate herself. If you're trying to separate yourself in tenor and tone and approach, what does that say? That says to us as Joe public, as everyday Joe citizen, that what you and him had, it wasn't working and you can't sell it. That's what it means. This 
Say the wrong word. And put a hand up if you know what I'm trying to say. How many times has she said, we need to turn the page and leave history alone? Listen to what they say. They tell you. They're being evasive. Even Obama said it in his speech when he was here at the DNC. He said it's time to turn the page. It's time to go into another direction. It's time to turn the chapter. These are the words that they're saying. In other words, we're going to leave Joe alone. And even if they hadn't said it, the fact that they ran Joe Biden out of Dodge, and you know they ran him out of Dodge. No question about it. They ran the man out of, out of Dodge. If they have no faith in what he was doing, why would we have faith in what they're doing now? It's all logic. This is why she's saying, let's turn the, let's turn the page. Because she doesn't want to, want to have to address what she was a part of. Because she knows it was damageable for this country. And this is what has happened. So now she wants to come out and she wants to sell you this, this, uh, this symbolism. I'm the first image of a black slash slash this, 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 this female. Let me be your leader. I don't want you because you're a female. And I certainly don't want you because you have some type of culture and color. I want to look at your policy. I want to look at your past because this is what the Democratic Party has done. They have got us to look at, at symbolism. Frederick Douglass Street, uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard, Malcolm X Highway. I ain't feeling all that kumbaya. Kumbaya don't pay bills. They whip it on black people for decades. Now they're trying to whoop the kumbaya on every race. I call it like I see it. Here, it says Ronald Clump wants to deport all dogs. This is in a video called Lavender, made by Snoop Dogg. This video, Nick, was made March 12th of 2017. You can go to my last video I just did today. If you subtract March 12th of 2017 from July 13th of 2024, you get exactly 88 months and one day. What is 88? Trump's text number is 88022. They speak like that. And Snoop Dogg, in my humble opinion, dogs means illegals. So I take it for what it says. Ronald Clump wants to deport all dogs, illegals. That's what I'm saying he meant. And deport is, the, is, is what's on the video. Now here's the deal. In this video titled The Purple, Lavender, there is a black man holding a, he's holding a phone and he's taking pictures and he's filming the white clown cop shoot Donald Trump in the car. You see these right now as we speak. People fought for decades so black people couldn't get reparations. And now people who ain't gave no money to the pot, they're getting money. Maybe if the world had allowed us to get some money, maybe, just maybe, we'd be able to stand up in our communities right about now and fight back in our neighborhoods. But we don't have the resources because we were abandoned as a people. I'm going to say it again. A lot of folks don't like to talk black and white, and I'm one of them. But when it comes to economics, I'm going to talk. The powers knew if they gave blacks the money that we deserve, because it's really called repair. 
repair. It's more than just money. If we had made our community strong, if they had not put these drugs in our community, if they had not put these guns in our community, and all these dumb rap music songs about killing each other. In fact, I have a, I have a quote. I pray I can find it. It's by a lady near and dear to my heart. I saw it earlier. I should have made a picture of it. This lady, she has a beautiful quote. And she talks about how we call each other B's and, o, B's and H's all the time. When you call yourself a B and an H before the world, anybody can manipulate you at that point. And that's what the powers did. They gangstered young black kids. And then they chose to do what? Make this stupid music. And now we out here calling our women that. And so what am I saying? We need repair. And the powers fought tooth and nail to keep us from having any money. And then the Jesse Jacksons of the world, what did they do a few years ago? Along with some other uh, ministers. Who some of them were white. They came into the black community. You got to turn in your guns. Y'all remember that? If you don't remember it, Google it. There was on Expressway. Shut down Expressway. You know the power shut down Expressway. Jesse Jackson didn't get that kind of power. They shut down Expressway. Go ahead, black people. Turn in your guns. Are you crazy? They set us up. And now if you go on social media, you got blacks in the west side of Chicago and the south side begging for the aldermen and the mayor to protect them. And what are they doing? Nothing. 